Hey there, everybody. This is Miss Remington once again playing Magical Diary. <clears throat> Let me see if. Oh, that's not much better, is it? Kirby's too bright. Hi. Ugh. No, it doesn't help. Okay, sorry about that. I'm trying to see what lights work because, you know, <coughs> college. Uh, it's not like I can exactly manipulate my surroundings so I can have optimal let's play ability. My hair looks kind of neat, though. Anyway. Playing Magical Diary. I'm married to grabbing her. I just bought the wiggle wand. Look how cute he is. Ah! He's got a little bow tie. Okay. <clears throat> let's go on to the next week. Yay! 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 Don't forget there's an exam this Friday. It's in the bag. What should I do this week? Alright, so... Really need red. <sighs> I'll do another red, too. Uh, white. And then strong, strong. <clears throat> okay. I got blast. An explosive force causes damage to the Dharmit and... Dharmit? Dharmit. Dharmit. <clears throat> To the target and may knock nearby targets back. Where'd my water go? Yay, two more magic skill. Crush. Force pushes around in around the target from all sides, causing damage. Draw energy from the other world to recharge mana supply. Okay. <clears throat> I like it. Oh, I got another one. Distraction. Causes the target to be temporarily confused, forgetting to act in the following moment. Caster expends life energy in order to gain magical energy. I forgot what his voice was. Because I always get Luke and Logan mixed up. Because I know one of them, I have... My super fat voice for it. And the other one talks like caricatures of what I hear people say William Shatner used to talk like. <clears throat> uh, I might as well stick with Shatner for now then. Would you care to join us? No, wait, no. No, I remember now. Uh, that's Jacob, isn't it? My Shatner voice is Jacob. Because he comes to Minnie's defense later with the whole Kyo thing. Alright, fat voice it is. <clears throat> Would you care to join us for another game of bingo? I've made some changes to the rules. So of having a single jackpot, we'll split the money up into five games, giving everyone more a chance to win. Sorry, I don't have any money right now. Ah, well have a good day. Blah. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the wiggle wand. Nah. Never regret the wiggle wand. Do you know where Virginia's got to? I couldn't find her at dinner. No, I haven't seen her all day. We return to our room. Hey, are you still in bed? Virginia? She's laying in her bed, her eyes half open, her cheeks flushed red. Something is very wrong. Ellen takes one step into the room, then whirls to face me, her face stern. Go get a professor! Now! Right. Yay. I run through the halls until I find someone in charge. Remington, what's the matter? It's Virginia. She's really sick. Oh, dear. I'll be right there. She hurries to our room and takes Virginia away. Morning arrives, but Virginia still hasn't come back. I report to the room on schedule for my exam. Because... I'm not going to be excused from this, even though I'm worried about my roommate. Of course not. Okay. In order to leave this... <clears throat> In order to leave this dungeon, you must find the key. Only that key will open the doors. Think before you act. With those words, the voice fades away. It's funny that I made that Gravener voice because of the think before you act thing. He hates me. <clears throat> Alright, so this is the one where I got, okay, whatever, door, yeah, sure. 
forward, forward, forward. There's a madness in this room. Is it the same one I saw before? Surely they wouldn't let something that dangerous loose in the dungeons, would they? Well, if it is, it's not allowed to harm me. Um. <clears throat> what is... Oh, you guys shouldn't have to deal with that. Um, what is it that I need? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's strange. The Manus isn't registering as a spirit. It's like there's nothing there at all. Wait! Apparently there wa really wasn't anything there. It was an illusion. Yay. <clears throat> Okay, there's the chest that I am not to touch for any purpose whatsoever. Here's the ball. Examine sphere, round ball of stone. <clears throat> Open spell book. Oh, I should have just used push. Sphere. North. Sphere rolls. You hear a distant explosion. Yay! Yay! Explosions! Examine the pile of rocks. Examine the chest. You appear in the chest. Aha, there's a key. Yay. <clears throat> They're exactly what they seem to be. But has anyone written on them yet? Fine. Oh, that was gross. I'm so sorry, guys. I emerged from the dungeon, blinking into the sunlight. Congratulations, Remington! For succeeding in your quest, you receive five merits. And another five merits for managing to see through our little trick. I hope you enjoyed putting your skills into practice. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another student to look after. Wait. What is it? <clears throat> What's happening with Virginia? She'll be alright. She should be back with you tomorrow. Okay. Guess I can relax now? <clears throat> Ellen and I have completed our exams and return to our room when we hear a knock on the door. Come on, knock on the door. <clears throat> I gave him I gave us him a southern drawl too, didn't I? Hey kids. Oh, that's gross. Oh, don't do that one. I heard you were talk you were asking about V. That's right, how is she? She'll be fine. Look. Can I come in? Sure. Wow, she got immediately up on him. <clears throat> He's not into you, Ellen. I'm so sorry. If it makes you feel any better, he wouldn't be into me either. I rush back into the room and look quickly around to be sure everything embarrassing is out of sight. Like, panties. Those are embarrassing, I guess. Ellen's part of the room, of course, is immaculate already. William's head ducks in slightly as he walks into the room. William ducks his head slightly as he walks into the room, even though I'm sure our ceilings are the same height as the one in the senior rooms. Maybe he's keeping an eye out for one of Donald's traps. <clears throat> Thanks. I just figured. There's things V would rather not everyone hear about. There are things you should know. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> what is it? My sister was born premature, and as a baby, she had a lot of problems. I don't remember much. I was so young. But I remember at least once being rushed to the hospital in the middle of the night. Hospital? But you guys have magic. Couldn't you just heal her? I don't know about much about... <laughs> I don't know nothing about birth and no babies, but apparently it's not that easy. Babies aren't people yet. <laughs> oh, shit. Tell that... Tell that to people who... Sorry. <clears throat> Tell that to pro-lifers. They will not like you for that one. Is this any better at all? No. 
Okay, that was pointless. <clears throat> Babies aren't people yet, and the same spells don't work on them. So there's something wrong with Virginia? Don't let her hear you say that. Most of the time she's fine, just like anyone else, but certain kinds of bugs she's more likely to catch. When she does, they're more likely to be serious. <clears throat> so keep an eye on her, okay? Especially if there's a cold going around. What do we need to do for her now? Nothing. A little green magic and some rest and she'll be back to normal. Really, it's not such a big deal. V is not exactly delicate. Thanks for letting us know. Thank you. On Saturday morning, I get up early to deliver the mail. I run into Virginia outside her room. Hi! How are you feeling? <clears throat> eh, I'd be fine, except... I missed the exam yesterday, so now I have to do detention. Aw, oh, too bad. I won't keep you then. See you later. What should I do today? <clears throat> Gonna study. Study buddies. Study with many. Cool. <clears throat> I'll do another week. Why not? Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, next week. You guys like my long episodes, right? I'm woken Monday morning by someone knocking on a door. Not hammering, just knocking. But a rapid, but at a rapid beat. Remington, are you there? Oh, Remington, are you there? I step out into the hallway and find Minnie waiting for me. Hi. Good morning, what's up? I'm just here to remind you that we're running the boost for Valentine's sale this afternoon, right after class. I should have mentioned it yesterday, but I was really busy and I lost track. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll be there. Take another look at Minnie. Her face looks blotchy somehow, like the skin under her eyes is a slightly different color than the rest. Are you alright? I'm a little tired, that's all. Are you sure? Virginia was sick last week. There's something might be going around. No, I'm fine. I'll see you this afternoon. She hurries away. Whoa. What if... Whoa. What if... What if Kyo's fucking hitting her? <clears throat> I'm sure that's not what I'm supposed to get from that. Maybe she was crying. Maybe she was crying. Maybe she was crying. She was probably just crying. <clears throat> Which is not a good thing either, but... Oh, I don't feel good. Okay. Hmm. Red, blue, green. Hello, my rosy-faced lovebirds. Please take your seats. Before we go on with our classwork today, there is something important that we need to discuss. For many people, this is a sensitive subject. However, you are all young adults now, not children, and it is better for us to have this out in the open. Wait, is this going to be sex ed education? This is the traditional season for young romance and we don't want to clip your wings. There are no school rules against love in any form. Whoa, I guess it is. Sort of. As long as you and the other person, or people, that you are with are enthusiastic about whatever you're doing, we will not intervene. But keep any naughty business out of areas where those who have not consented might accidentally see you. And try not to get too distracted from your schoolwork. Know what you want and be sure everyone else does too. If anyone isn't enthusiastic, whether it's a kiss or a dance or something else, stop and wait. Now, there is one other matter that would require punishment. As students, you are not allowed to carry children. Okay. Breaking this rule will result in equal punishments for all parties concerned, and we will know who you are. Yay, paternity tests in the magic world. Trusting your partner, partner is an important part of romance, but in this case, take your own precautions as well. If you don't think your green magic is enough up to the task, or you have any further questions, please come and talk to me after class. Now let's get back to magic! Rearrange a small amount of stone into a new configuration. Could have used that last time. Fixes objects in place or fuses them shut. Jesus, how many spells am I going to learn at once? 
alters substances causing damage and I'm <clears throat> the Valentine's Day order booths are set up all around the quad with two tables for each class manned by student officers the Valentines themselves aren't here though only the order forms and money boxes you say what you want and for whom and the Valentines will be delivered on Friday morning because our Valentines are so cheap we're doing a lot of business with people suddenly rushing back to add just one more name to their order list and many students from other grades are sneaking into our lines sorry she's Minnie has apparently drafted Jacob to provide extra help for her side he's stacking counting the money while she double checks the order information I wonder if I should have asked someone to help me <clears throat> suddenly Kyo shows up at my table and hands me two fifty dollar bills uh you need change for Minnie all of it he glares at me Right, there's a hundred orders from you to Minnie. Just sign your name and the details there. He does so and then slams the pen back onto the order pad and walks away. That's not creepy at all. I guess that's why th there have to be at least two tables so that you can place an order for one of the officers and still keep it a surprise. I wonder if anyone's buying valentines for me. Probably not. Speaking of buying valentines, I should figure out whether I'm sending any of my own. Okay, I'm gonna order. <clears throat> Alright, but... I am going to pause this here because I need to figure out if sending Grabiner a valentine right now would be a bad thing. I get a feeling it would be, but I also don't want to miss out on my chance. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I know it's only the Monday and I said I was going to do another week, but this is a long week. <laughs> um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I love Grabiner. I love you guys. Different kinds of love. Sorry. Um, but I'll see you around next time. Bye-bye.